Hi everyone, it's Brian. Uh, in the last video, uh, we were able to use all the operators to come up with uh, this really complex proposition. Um, what we haven't done yet is we haven't actually examined arguments, which is what symbolic logic is most useful for. Um, the reason we haven't done that is because I really needed to know that uh, you know how to simplify sentences into uh, logical form that you know um, how all the operators work with their truth values and how um, the truth values work when the operators interact with one another. Um, I feel I've stressed that pretty heavily and uh, we understand that now. So now we're finally going to be taking a look at arguments. So in this video I'm going to be showing you two arguments that are valid and two arguments that are invalid. So I'm going to start with one argument that's valid. If it's snowing, then I didn't go to school today. It's snowing, therefore, I didn't go to school today. Alright, so one thing uh, I want to state first is um, every argument consists of two things, at least one premise and at least one conclusion. A premise is a statement which gives us some reason for uh, believing the conclusion. So right here, we have uh, two premises and one conclusion. Uh, this might be wrong, some, might lit some logician might hate me for saying this, but um, typically uh, any statement that isn't uh, a conclusion is a premise supporting it uh, in an argument, if it's a, if it's a proposition. So in, in this form, um, these two statements are both premises, and this is our conclusion. And you can only have one conclusion. Um, so let's simplify it. First, let's, let's take a look at it. So we see, if it is snowing, then I didn't go to school today. So we see a clear if-then operator. So we see snowing in school. So let's use S for snowing and L for school. So if it's snowing, then we'll make our little... Uh, conditional equals open quotation dash dash um, greater than sign close quotation uh, not and then L so if it's knowing that I didn't go to school today now um, when we separate propositions in argument form like this uh, convention I learned was to separate them using uh, forward slashes so I'm going to keep this convention here um, so now I'm going to say uh, the next um, the next statement, it is snowing. So let's put that as S. And whenever you separate um, the last premise from the conclusion, use two forward slashes. So right after this, we've symbolized the first premise here, the second premise here. Now we just have the conclusion here after the two forward slashes. So that therefore I didn't go to school today. Um, not L. Okay, so let's symbolize this whole thing out. So we have um, two propositions here. We have S and L. Even though they occur in more than one place, since we only have S's and we only have L's and like negations, uh, we only have two propositions in total. So what we're going to do is um, we have two squared because we only have S and L. So we're going to have four lines in total. We're going to have one true, uh, we're going to have one true, one true, one false, one false. For the L, we're going to have one true, one false, one true, one false. And um, since the L is being negated, that's not its real truth value. Its real truth value is the negation of L. So we're going to have false, true, false, true. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and highlight this just to, again, uh, stress that this isn't its real truth value. Let's make this gray. I'll make this gray too. And so with this, let's do the truth value of the conditional. So the conditional is only false when uh, the antecedent, which is what is before the conditional, in this case S, is true, and the consequent, which is after the conditional, is false. So right here we can see that we have a true and we have a false. So the first conditional, uh, the first truth value in the conditional is false. Here we see we have true, true, so it's true. And whenever the antecedent, which is before the conditional, is false, it's always true. We have true, we have true. So we have false, true, true, true. That's the truth value. And I'll make this a different color. Let's make this uh, blue. And right here, um, we're going to copy the same truth values. So we already put S right here. So 
You just copy those over. True, true, false, false. Right here we have not L, and the not is the big one, so that's the one we're going to be using. So false, true, false, true. Okay, so that's the conclusion. Now what we're going to be looking for right here is uh, I'm going to color these two blue, um, and I'm going to uh, yeah, so I'm going to co color these two blue. So we're going to just be using blue here. Now what essentially we're going to be looking for is um, a sequence where uh, the premises are true and the conclusion's false. So we're going to be looking for sequence like true, true, false. That isn't this first one because we have false, true, false. So that's what we're going to be looking for. Now um, what we haven't really talked about is validity and um, for an argument to be valid uh, it can't have true premises and a false conclusion. And if you want to think about it, that's kind of the way the conditional operator works. Uh, don't call it this. Remember, it's called the antecedent. But if you want to think about it this way, if the premise of the conditional is true and the conclusion of the conditional is false, then the argument is false because it's invalid. Um, but again, remember, it's before the conditional is antecedent, after the conditional is consequent. But uh, they use the same principles. So we're looking for something where the premises are true and the conclusion is false. We have false, true, false. So that's not it true 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 so that's not it if we had a false right here then it would be false and the argument would be invalid I have true false false right here so again we if this was true then the argument would be invalid um, because we'd have true true false and then the last one is true false true so we don't see anything that would give us true true false we have true true false the argument is um, in, a co in uh, what we call a contradiction and uh, I can explain this to you um, a bit better. Um, so let's see. Let's take a look at this argument if, if we had it in the form of true, true, false. So if it's snowing, then I didn't go to school today. It's snowing, therefore I went to school today. But we just said if it is snowing, then I didn't go to school today and it's snowing. So how can I go to school today if it's snowing? And if it's snowing, then I didn't go to school. Um, so again, that seems a bit confusing. Um, a better way to explain it might be with mathematics. So um, I'll just use basic arithmetic. So anyone who should be able to count money uh, equals, um, hold on. so I use two, and I'll put equal sign, open quote, plus, close quote, and then I'll put another two right here. So if we have two plus two, then we have four. Um, so I'll make a little conditional sign. So we have 2 plus 2, and then I'll make a little conditional sign, then we have 4. So we have 2 plus 2, I'll just uh, hit, I'll hit equals and I'll copy this plus sign up here, and then so we have 2 plus 2, and so therefore we don't have 4. So does this make any sense? It doesn't make any sense. If we have if we have two plus two, then we have four. We have two plus two, therefore we don't have four. That doesn't make any sense. So as you can see right here, I'll just put the truth values right here. This premise is true. We have two two plus two, then we have four. This premise is true. We have two plus two, but then this premise is false. We have four. This doesn't make any sense. And so um, the argument as a result is not valid because valid means you can't have true premises, this is a premise, this is a premise, these are the premises, and a false conclusion, and this is a conclusion, uh, which is indicated by the therefore sign. Alright, so now I've shown you what an invalid argument is. Uh, in the next video, um, I'll be showing you what an invalid argument is.